What's going on everybody? We're finally going to talk about TypeScript types. So we got it all set up finally, fixed some of the most pressing issues, and now we will start applying some of the TypeScript stuff. So thank you for sticking along with the series so far, and thank you to our sponsor, which is Ultra Edit, the editor we've been using in this series. So I'll drop a link down below if you're interested in getting your hands on that. Okay, so now that we wanna start talking about types, the easy thing to do is just go into your TS config and where you have no implicit any, set this to true. This is basically going to force any implicit any's to be established as some type. What is an implicit any? Well, consider any to be a type, and the word implicit means kind of like automatically. By default, everything is going to be of type any. And any is basically the most useless type. It doesn't actually give any type checking. It's basically like just ignoring the TypeScript rules. Now, as you look through all these problems, it's going to be the same one repeating over and over, specifically request and response. So what we can do is we could actually type these to something. And fortunately, requests and responses are going to be pretty common. So it's a type we're going to reuse for pretty much all of these. So much so that there's already types that exist for this. So just to make sure we have everything we need, you might need to say npm install at types slash express. Go ahead and install that, and that's going to install the types needed for Express. And it says added eight packages, so it did something. And now up here, and yeah, I have requires and imports mixed. No big deal, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I wanna move on to these types. What we can do is we can import the types. So we'll say import request response, and that's all we're going to need from Express. And now to say that something is of those types, we can use a colon. So let's go to our first endpoint and we have request and response. We will say request is of type request, capital R there, and response is of type response. Running this, our errors go from 20 down to 18. Aha, so far so good. So let's go ahead and do that for the rest of our methods. So it's going to be pretty much exactly the same. I'm trying to decide if I want to show you guys this on camera or just skip to the end. But this is part of the process. So just go through this. And basically, as I'm doing this, I guess I could just explain what this does. So this will basically say that these parameters are of these types. And if you try to access some property on this parameter without it being defined in the type, you're going to get a TypeScript compilation error. Whereas normally that would have been a runtime error saying something like, oh, property not found on this type or something along those lines. Now you'll see that error before our code even runs. So it's going to drastically reduce the number of runtime errors. So it's important to understand the difference between a compilation error and a runtime error. So a compilation error is something you will find at compile time or at the time the TypeScript code is transpiled from TypeScript down to JavaScript. You can think of that as a form of compiling. Those are compiling errors, whereas runtime errors are exceptions, typically by typos or something really stupid that's very easy to prevent. And that's one of the reasons a lot of people haven't really enjoyed JavaScript as much as they could. Some people like the dynamicness of JavaScript, but I think in general, most people prefer the static typing of TypeScript. It does make coding harder though, because now you have to type extra and you have to know what you're doing kind of ahead of time. All right, save, found zero errors, lovely. So if I went in here and said console log request.tacos, you can see property tacos does not exist on type request. So it's just not even going to let me execute my code where normally that would have given an undefined and could have led to a potential runtime error. <laughs> I need to work on my posture, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's all I got in this video. That's how you type requests and responses. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you then, peace out.